Today, I want to show you how you can create consistent characters for your projects, whether it's storytelling, comic books, or even crafting AI influencers. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use this free tool, and in future tutorials, we'll dive even deeper into its capabilities. Let's get started. Focus is a free and open-source stable diffusion image generating software. Open the project link on GitHub. I put the link in the description. Here, you can read details of the project. For Windows, Mac, and Linux you can see how to install it separately. You can see minimal requirement from this part. If you want to install it locally, download the file and extract it, then run the batch file. If you don't have GPU or you don't want to install it on your system, you can use it on Google Collab. Google Collab run this software on another computer. To start using this software in Collab, click on Open in Collab. If you don't log in with your Google account, press Sign in button and log in. Based on the document you can change the last line to use the realistic or anime version based on your needs. I use the realistic version. Press cannot save changes. In this pop-up, click on save a copy in drive. Click on open in new tab. Click on play button to run this section of code. Scroll down. Click on the URL in running on public URL part. This is the focus interface that we use it. If you reach the limit of collab usage, use another account. Here, you should write your text prompt and describe what you want. If you tick the advanced part, the settings will appear on the right side. You can change performance, image size, image numbers, negative prompt that is what you don't want to see in the result, and seed number from here. If you uncheck random, you can write the seed number, otherwise, if you tick it, this number will be determined randomly. In the Style tab, you can see several styles. You can combine multiple styles at the same time. Move the mouse over the style and see its preview. In the Model tab, you can choose the model based on your work. In future tutorials, I will show you how to download different models. Write your text prompt. Change the settings based on your needs. Press the Generate button. You can see a preview of the result. If you don't like it, press the Skip button to create the next one. If you want to stop the process, press the Stop button. Click on the image and see the results. To download any image, click on the Download icon. I want to edit the prompt and get more results. Select the image that you want to use, and create consistent character based on it. I use this one. To start generating consistent characters, tick the input image. Some settings appear bottom. You can do several things like upscaling, using image to image, face swap, and editing images. Click on the image prompt tab. Drag your desired image here from above or from your system. Check advanced to see more settings here. Check face swap. You can change how much the image affects the result. Edit your prompt and change what you want to change in the result. Press the Generate button. I used the Realistic Edition. You can use Anime Edition and create your own images. Combine different styles. In the next tutorials, I will show you how to change your character's pose and change the background, then we will use these images. Like, subscribe, and share your experience with us in the comment. Stay tuned for more useful videos. Thanks for watching.